I'm gonna help you out because there's a there's a big gap in in, in helpful uh, videos on YouTube for for Linux users um, in general, uh, and especially with uh, audio video editing. Now Linux has come a long way with audio video editing. Um, just a few years ago, it was, it was not you basically could not do it very well. You had to use Windows, uh, Windows programs. Or, you know, if you want anything that's even slightly easy or user-friendly or, or even would work. Um, uh, but quickly here, let me just show you here. So I have uh, four, four desktops here. And um, I think if you're using Linux, I'm using Ubuntu, but if you're using any Linux uh, OS, then you really should take advantage of... of simple things like uh, four desktops. So I can have my terminal here, um, have you know certain specific windows here. This one's for my screen recorder. Um, and you know my internet or web browser here and um, here I can have my um, file manager and so on and so forth. So um, it really helps you with uh, keeping things in order. And you don't have to keep uh, minimizing and maximizing, you just go boom from one desktop to another. So, moto vlogging. This is uh, niche within a niche, right? So, this video and I guess other videos that I make um, regarding Linux, th they'll help anyone who needs help with Linux. But um, a lot of this is going to be geared towards moto vloggers because moto vloggers have issues that they're going to run into. Uh, the main one is audio because you're on a motorcycle so you're gonna have a lot of wind so you have to deal with that and I'll probably go into specifically that uh, some other time this is just dipping your toe in audio video editing in Linux so uh, I'm using Ubuntu you can use any Linux distribution I've used Ubuntu since pretty much the beginning if you're a moto vlogger you should check out motovlog.com um, you can learn a lot um, and this is anybody, uh, any moto vlogger. Um, uh, in the editing talk uh, forum or sub subsection, um, now, you know most of them are are about Windows. This is actually the one I started a couple of days ago. It's it really, I think, as far as I know, the only one regarding Linux, and no one else has responded to it um, because most people are using Microsoft. Um, Windows and um, and those who aren't using Windows are using um, Macs you know, for the most part. So, but there are a few of us who are using Linux. So this is for you. Um, one thing that I've noticed about Linux in general is there aren't a lot of um, user-friendly videos uh, sort of helping you out. Some of them are, they expect so much of. Uh, they're not very good. Okay, they don't explain very well. I'll just say that. They expect uh, someone who doesn't know to know certain things that they don't know, and what the, the people who are on the video in the video should be doing is, is teaching them. Um, so I'll say this. With, in saying that, I'll say this. Um, I have links for most of the programs I'm going to talk about, except for one. Uh, except for, yeah. But, um, but you can just click on the link and check out more information about that. You, um, in general, you can um, install some of these programs uh, through um, through apt, through the repositories. So um, I am going to expect you to have some cursory knowledge of, of, of Linux, and this is specifically open to like, uh, being able to use the terminal to install things, sudo apt-get, and then install whatever. Um, you should have at least some fundamental grasp of how to use Linux. Um, and then um, once you get past that, which isn't that hard, then once you get past that, this will be easy for you because how are you going to use them if you can't even install them? So, um, audio issues. Those are going to be the main issues that moto vloggers will run into, audio issues. Um, Audacity is a great program because you can use it... You can use it in Windows, Mac, and uh, and Linux. Um, it's great. You can adjust your audio in general and um, run it through some filters. You know, 
uh, change levels, uh, reduce the noise, noise reduction, things like that. So that's 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 a good program. It's a solid program. You can convert too, in case you need to convert it from some format to some other format. You know, some very simply, if you want to convert to MP3, it'll do that. You have to make sure you export as, and then do it. Um, I guess I could show you that. It's very easy, but Audacity. And then uh, you would just have to go to File, Export, and then export it as an MP3. But you really don't need to do too much with Audacity, unless your unless your uh, audio is really really messed up. Then yeah, I would I would run some filters through it and see if you can make it better. You can always undo things um, if, if whatever you've done doesn't work or makes it worse. So try something out, undo it, do some noise reduction. Um, try noise reduction, try changing the levels, things like that. So uh, noise removal there. I'll get into more detail about that maybe uh, I could, or at least I'll link something, because there, there are a few videos about noise reduction. A lot of them don't apply exactly to motor vloggers, because we have, it's not just like, like someone talking, that kind of wind, or like a breeze, you know, outside. Oh, you're outside and you have a breeze. No. So our issues are more extreme than that. I mean, it's, it's wind, you're flying through the wind, so, and you're trying to talk. And it's filtering all that out and just getting to the to the voice, which is um, which is actually why a task cam or a zoom or something like that is um, is really helpful because they are good recorders, good voice recorder. I'm using task, uh, my task cam right now, and um, I'm not using a mic. I'm just using the task cam um, internal mics, um, but they're really really um, helpful. And they work well. Uh, if you know anything about, um, if you've been watching any moto vlogs, then you probably run into Royal Jor Jordanian, and um, he uses a Zoom, I believe. Uh, they're essentially the, they do the same thing. So um, yeah, I highly recommend my task cam. Is uh, my task cam is um, I believe it's a DR07 Mark II task cam. So you can look that up. But yeah, so let's go back to um, so Audacity, Tascam. I also have an Olympus, a little Olympus DVR, but uh, that's I primarily primarily use it for uh, outside engine sound. Um, I tried PDV for video editing, and it didn't render. It just didn't work. So it could be just my setup. I'm running a. Um, 64-bit, uh, 14.10, uh, the, the unicorn one, unicorn version of Ubuntu, so I don't know, maybe it's the way I installed it, or I don't know, maybe it was the settings I used, but anyways, it didn't render, so I chucked it. I, one thing, if, if you have at least a few options, and your one of your options uh, doesn't work, it just go to a new one. Uh, in Linux, it's does, it's not going to hurt you, because they're all, they're all free anyways, so... Except for Lightworks, which has a pay for a pay version, which I, I'm not gonna. I mean, if, if any of you are using it and it, and it works great, tell you know, tell me about it. But um, there are other programs that work very well, uh, do everything that 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 does. I'm sure uh, for free. So so Blender is very very complex, and. Um, you can you can make uh, animations. Uh, you'll see a lot of people's uh, intro videos or intro uh, the parts of their videos are done with Blender or something like Blender. But uh, Blender is Blender is great. There's a Windows version, a Windows version. You know, when someone's intro, they have the the text and it flies through the air and does funky things. That's that can be done with Blender. Um, you can also edit video. It's the thing about it. Blender is it's very, very, very complex. Um, <clears throat> so even though I've you know I'm I'm no 
complete novice to to Linux programs and even complex Linux programs, the blenders are really complex. Um, there are a couple videos that I found that are really helpful. Uh, I can link those at some point uh, in a future video, or or maybe uh, if someone asks for it, I can I can link it uh, somewhere. Um, yeah, so uh, I tried Blender out and it rendered. The results were pretty good, but I wanted to find something more user friendly. Um, and especially if you're just dipping your toe, you want user friendly. You want something user friendly. So I did that. Uh, OpenShot, which I don't have a link for, but just look up OpenShot for Ubuntu or Linux. And um, OpenShot's great. It's no frills, it's easy to figure out. I guess I could have pulled up Blender while I was talking about it. So let's go to Blender. There's Blender. So here it's you have all these options and things. It's really complex. And for for my computer, it's the text is really small and I can't change it. But I've made it so I can just zoom zoom in on things. So that's cool, but I don't want to have to do that. Such is the case with this program. So all these little things I have to zoom and then figure it all out. So uh, let's go to OpenShot here. OpenShot. See, so you have your tracks here. This should look familiar to anybody who's messed around with um, video editing programs. Uh, you know, you can put your you put your clips here, you put your audio in your video, and it works pretty well. Um, it renders. Uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. You have your effects. You have a bunch of effects. Whole bunch of effects. Look at all these effects. So, I would recommend OpenShot just to dip your toe, uh, or or just you know, keep using it because it's it's really it works well. Um, but I wanted to try other things, uh, so I tried, uh, let's see here, so I tried, uh, Caden Live. Now Caden Live is my favorite so far. Um, you can do everything. A really great thing is you can, um, edit your audio in Caden Live. And not only can you edit your audio, you can do it, it does it very well. So you can uh, adjust your noise levels, you can even do, I, th I believe you can do a noise reduction in Caden Live. Which almost pretty much renders um, Audacity um, unnecessary. Caden Live. Um, well, for this, for this at least, it's um, renders it unnecessary. Unless you need to convert it before you put it in Caden Live, but you really shouldn't have to anyways. Um, so you can take your clips, you can put them in here, you have your different uh, clips here, different tracks, you can put audio tracks here, it doesn't have to be down here. Um, and the great thing is you can, um, I'm going to load a project here, the great thing is you can group pieces together so that, let's say, okay, this is audio. This is purely audio. This is my audio track for my task cam. And this is video. Uh, you can keep the the audio here too. Uh, which I do in some places here. Um, and then what you can do is, you see this transition here? This is... Oh, that's the end. Still, I thought there was another transition up here. Oh, I know there is, so let's go to it. All right, so you see this bit here. If I'm going to do, be doing a lot of cutting here or here or even in here, that can really mess up the timing of all of this because this should span this. And this is just uh, a couple of pictures. So let me just show you here. Push play. So, oh, that's just audio. It doesn't sound all that great because it's uh, 
using the Caden Live preview thing, which I guess if that's a can that can be a fault, I guess, of it that is that it uh, doesn't sound that great when you're adding or subtracting things sometimes. But um, but that with that I was adding on another audio track right here, and I was muting both of these, so I had regular video with the audio muted external video this is my task cam this is the video that you'll normally hear but then I was showing my alternate audio here I just added it another track and I, I didn't really post process it too much which I probably should have done because it doesn't sound great but anyways um, it was just an example uh, this was done with the Olympus in my bag I just had it in my bag and I just turned it on and let it do its thing I kind of Anyway, this is an example of, oh, that's too loud, let's turn that down, okay. With the dog sitting in the front passenger seat, and it looked like he had goggles on. There we go, so you should see, there we go. So you can do things like that, you can add pictures and... You can have pictures and overlays and texts and you know, messages and, uh, you know, I could even have a little part where uh, a little window in the video where I'm talking here, oops, where I'm talking in this corner here. And I don't, I, I don't think I would ever do that, but I've seen some people do that. Um, but the point with Keaton Live is it's all very easy to do. So, um, you can click on this, you can add transition, you can add effect. Now, see these effects? They're not just video. You can mess with the audio too, which is great. Um, the grouping is great. Uh, let me see, I forgot how to do it, but I think if you just, if you just, uh, it's one of the timeline. Yeah, control plus G, and you can, can group clips so um, let's group some clips here all right so control G oh there we've grouped some clips now these are all together so um, if you do any cutting it's really helpful when you cut anything because if you cut this and then you move a track well then you have to move another track and then you have to move another track if they're all grouped together you cut this you move any track all the tracks go with it it's pretty darn cool um, another cool thing is so I muted the the audio that that went with the um, the video in my camera that's this audio I just muted that and you can see that I've done it there. And here, no effects for, for the audio here. There's a straight audio from my task cam. Um, here again, straight audio. So you can see the effects that you've used. Uh, see a little gain here. Uh, I reduced it. Uh, that means that this was loud. So I made it lower. Um, easy to do. You just uh, change your gain level. If it's too loud, you turn the gain below 100, and if it's um, not loud enough, you bump it up past 100. Easy peasy. All right, so <clears throat> just a quick uh, on here your clips. You can you can add um, you can add titles and pictures and audio and everything. So. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be a Caden Live tutorial. I can do a Caden Live tutorial later. Um, this was really just to show you that it can be done in Linux. It's not that hard. It's not any harder than any other. And then, like with Caden Live, I'm pretty sure the the, the programs I use in, in Windows are very similar and maybe even more difficult to. to Maybe even less user friendly than than this, which is saying something about 
you know, usually Linux is, is the the one that's not user friendly. But Caden Live is very user friendly. Um, you just click render when you're ready. Um, it'll give you a bunch of options. All kinds of options. Uh, I generally just go for MPEG-4 and then you can choose your, your profile. I th I've found that the um, this profile, uh, MP3 Advanced Simple Profile works. Um, I go with the highest quality that they'll allow and then you just uh, render the file. Boom. It's done. You can try other things. You can even try... I tried lossless once and maybe I'll try it again, but it didn't render. There was an error, like about mm, 20 minutes in. There was some, there was an error, so um, so I didn't do that. You can you can try different uh, settings for your for your uh, encoding. A lot of this is going to depend on um, your computer. If you have a really nice computer with uh, a lot of RAM and uh, you know a lot of space to put these large files in and um, a fast you know. CPUs and things like that, then yeah, go go as high as you can. I mean, if you want, that's what I did. Um, I do a 1080p at 60 frames per second, and um, this produces this advanced simple profile produces um, really high quality video, which I can go into later. But anyway, just trust me. So um, you have options. I would just um, use OpenShot or Caden Live. Uh, I think really you can even just jump into Caden Live because it's really not terribly difficult to figure out. I can, um, again, I can uh, produce a video. I can create a video just for, just for Caden Live. But um, yeah, so um, before I forget, I almost forgot. Do you want to see my changes? No. Um, so I put out a video my first vlog, my first Moto vlog, and um, in it I mentioned uh, Escape Behind Bars talked about <clears throat> subtitles, which was funny because I noticed the subtitles too um, before he, like when I was, I, right after I um, uploaded it and it processed and everything, it took a while to process, but right after, finally when it was done, I was like, okay, so I was checking out things, I was checking out the <laughs> close happening just just to check it out because I wanted to see how how um, accurate it was and my audio is not that not that bad I've I've, I've seen mo many moto vloggers with much worse audio but man those subtitles were way off way off so <clears throat> my idea was uh, to create a poem a collaborative poem um, based on those subtitles. So here's here's the idea. Choose a word or phrase from the video, from, you know, from the subtitles, and comment. Yeah, I'm going to say comment on that video. Don't You don't need to comment on the video that this one is going to be in because it'll just streamline things. So comment on that video um, with your favorite line. And I'll create a poem. Uh, we We will create a poem based on that. Um, there, are, trust me, there are plenty of great lines and words used uh, by the wonderful people at, uh, by the, the computer, whoever's doing it, at, uh, of YouTube. Um, so um, I'll compile them and I'll rearrange them, but uh, it's all going to be based on your input and I might add, you know, one or two lines of my own, uh, or bits of my own. Um, depending on how many, how much um, response I get, because if only one person is responding, then I guess I'll have to, have to add more of my own stuff, but I would really like it if as many people joined in as possible. So um, I'll, I'll let that go. I won't, I won't create the poem. I won't, uh, uh, there will be a cutoff for, for that, and, um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll upload the results. Um, I, how about this? I want at least three separate people to um, to share some input. And what I mean what I mean by this is uh, just to show you. I mean, hopefully it should be obvious. But here are the parameters. Here are the rules. Here there aren't many rules, but there are a few or a couple or something. Subtitles on. Uh, there's no talking, so I can't tell. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Sometimes they're on. So. Oh, thank you. So. <laughs> here we go. So the idea is. Share three words or phrases um, in the comment box. Um, I guess you can do more, but I wouldn't. Don't do. Yeah, do, no. Do three. Exactly three. Uh, no, three or less, three or less. If you, if you find one just really amazing, then just one. But three or less, okay? No more than three. That's the rule here. There aren't many rules, but this is one of them. Three. Um, three of your favorite, and then post them in the, in the comment box. Um, it can be either one word, like thank, or a, a phrase, but the word or f the, the phrase can only be within a section that's on the screen at one time. In other words, this can be the longest phrase you can use here. And that applies, it really applies when, uh, uh, oh gosh, okay. It really applies, okay. I'm gonna do more talking here. So, ba, 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 ba. So here, you know, you can use, you know, this phrase or this whole phrase or the whole line or whatever. Um, but there, what I'm trying to say is there are instances. Oh, right here. Perfect. There are instances where there are two lines here. Um, yeah, this is too long. So let's just say um, the word or phrase, the length of the word or phrase can only be as long. You know what? No, no, because sometimes things like uh, it, this, it cuts off, like this would be the end of a, a this might be the beginning of a phrase, and this might be the end of the phrase. So, it doesn't matter. It um, doesn't matter. It can be any, any word or phrase that is on the screen at one time. So, for here, one word, or the whole thing, if you really love all of this, right? Okay, so... Um, Share, share. We'll we'll collaborate, and um, <clears throat> hopefully something beautiful comes out. Uh, it'll probably be at least slightly amusing because some of these are completely ridiculous, and you uh, you have to wonder why the computer even thought that that is what you were saying because it's not even remotely close. Um, but yeah, so. Hopefully, I know I only have a few people watching, but uh, hopefully um, a few of you, uh, well, hopefully, uh, you know, as many of you as possible will share at least one word or phrase um, that you really, really love or like or find amusing in the um, subtitles for first moto vlog for this, my only other video. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Um, I'll probably post another motor vlog pretty soon. Uh, I'll do an, I'll do a Caden Live, a more in-depth Caden Live one, um, or a series of them soon too. Uh, and that might take a little while, or it might not, I don't know. But that's, it's on the, it's on the agenda. So, thank you, and, um, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope, I hope this helped somebody out there. All right. Thanks.